The first one is the versatility card over here. So, um, you know, you're spending a lot of energy, you know, you're doing things on a different kind of way. So not what everybody expected. And you're seeing things from a different point of view. So you've changed the way you do things. You're not following the crowd. Um, the, the sun in Gemini, new ideas and new brilliance coming to you. And you are using, um, you know, all these brilliant ideas to do things very differently from everybody else. There's a lot of secrets that are coming to light as well around you. You've got the Venus in uh, Scorpio over here so uh, a lot of things coming to light uh, things are being revealed to you so if people are going on behind your back these things are coming to light You've got the moon in in Taurus over here. So this is in its exaltation. So a lot of abundance will be coming to you. So because you are doing things very differently, uh, you know, and people are seeing that you have an unusual way of doing, doing things, this will bring in that abundance because, you know, you are unique in what you're doing and whatever, you know, uh, this is the thing that is going to be attracting the abundance. So you've got the egotism card over here. So there may, might have been a time in the past that you've been focusing a lot on yourself and trying to promote, uh, you know, your ideas ideas, uh, trying to promote yourself um, uh, in whatever situation it was. Uh, you've got that Mars there in uh, Leo. So, you know, you've been a little bit focusing, uh, you know, on yourself, which is a good thing uh, because, you know, it's, it's something that you needed to promote uh, in order to show people that you were different from the crowd. And you've been asserting your uh, yourself as well. So no, not letting anybody walk all over you. You've got that sun in Aries over here in this card. And you can see this person's fighting dragons. So you're standing up for what you believe in. You've been promoting yourself, standing up for what you believe in and showing people you know, that you are very versatile, that you can do a lot of things, that you can multitask, that you are very, very capable. And this is the thing that is going to bring in all that wealth, where people see that you are quite unusual in what you do. You've got the health card over here, so I need to focus a little bit on your health. Don't overdo things. Make sure that you seek medical advice if you need it. And then you've got the order card over here, so there's a need for you to get organized and to, uh, you know, start, um, you know, don't... Um, you know, make sure that you 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 have everything, all your ducks in a row, really. So uh, make sure that uh, you are well organized. You have plans in place, and you know exactly what you're doing. So it's very important for you to be um, to be ordered. Uh, don't be slapdash about anything. Make sure that you're following things to the T, or making sure that everything has its place. So there's a very important. That is a very important place to be. Uh, that order will bring in all the success, and it will allow you to move forward. And, you know, when you have order as well in your life, um, you know, and there's, uh, it's not messy, uh, then, you know, you can sort your health out. You know, you, do, you don't get stressed, really. So, you know, it gets rid of stress-related illnesses. So just pay attention to your health and make sure that you kept, keep yourself very organ organized. You know, clean out the clutter is what uh, the message there is, really. So those are the energies for that particular week. So I'm using the Game of Thrones um, tarot, and I have done a deck review for this particular deck. I shall link it at the end of the video, so have a look at it. Uh, it'll be very interesting um, because, uh, you know, you would have seen the tarot read, and then seeing the deck review is very, very, um, you know, if you are planning on buying the deck, that's a good way to start. So I'm going to see what this deck's got to say. So you've got the Knight of Spears over here. So this might well be that you want to move, um, travel and do your work, the same job that you're doing or a different job somewhere else. So this is about relocating to do your job or traveling with your job. So your job might take you out of the country or take you overseas uh, to foreign lands. You might be moving home or relocating as well with this job. You could well be dealing with a uh, fire sign person, could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And uh, this is also a card counseling for you to take your power back. But generally with the Knight of Spears, it's about travel. It's about travel and work. So you are going to maybe do your work, um, maybe more uh, travel coming into your work or even moving and getting a new job uh, somewhere else. Uh, and that's going to involve some kind of overseas, uh, over, you know, over, over land, uh, you know, travel that involves air travel is what I'm trying to say, really. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you are very focused on that work of yours over here. You've got the devil over there and you've got the four of coins over here, which is talking about, uh, you know, you're feeling um, 
you're watching your money very carefully. You're protecting your assets very carefully. So, you, you know, you might have gone through a period where, uh, you know, you've had financial problems and you have to look after and watch every penny. Maybe this is why you want to go and start, uh, you know, do a job that, that job somewhere else or you want to maybe relocate or, or, or get a new job somewhere else overseas that pays better. Now, you've been very, very focused on this work. The devil card is about work and maybe you've been dealing with people in your work situation that have been very manipulative and being very controlling but you yourself seem to be very single-minded about this job and it's been taking a lot of your time and effort maybe it's not been paying very well as as well and maybe you've been working with a lot of people that have caused a lot of drama and people that are very controlling and maybe this is why you want to move you got the two, two of spears over here so there's some decision that is uh, you know that has come uh, to light for you in the past it's um, you, know, you have to make a choice about whether you want to stay in the country that you are or the place that you are or whether you want to travel overseas and it looks like you're making plans to move away from your home uh, where you've been working for a long time you're making plans to move overseas or making plans to travel and maybe you put on some feelers and you're waiting for some news to come in as well Maybe you put your CV out on the internet and you're waiting for somebody to offer you a post. You've got the queen of coins over here. So, uh, you know, this is you being very organized, managing your money. Uh, you are very financially independent uh, with this queen of coins. So whatever job you're doing is giving you that financial independence. Even if you're worried a lot about money, um, you know, you're watching your money, but you do have that financial independence with that queen of coins. And you're a very organized person uh, and you're very, very focused on your work as well. And, and the work that you're doing as well, it's, it's um, you know, kind of a leadership position as well. Uh, where you're uh, managing resources, maybe at work, uh, maybe managing people as well. So, you know, you are very financially independent and you're quite capable as well and very practically minded as well. You've got the Page of Cups, so you're waiting for an offer to come in over here with this Page of Cups. So you might have put your, um, your CV or you might have put out, um, you know, uh, applications and you're waiting for that to come in. And maybe that new job that you want is going to take you, uh, you know, you want to travel with that particular job. Now, you've got the king of coins. It looks like there might be an offer coming in for you. And uh, it, this might be somebody making that offer to you, some kind of, um, you know, it's a bit... Uh, a business person. Uh, also, this could be a promotion for you where you are in charge of a lot of people, so a position of authority. So it looks like that particular job is coming through. So there's good news coming in with this offer that is being going to be presented to you. It's either a promotion or a position of leadership, or um, you know, it's being presented to you by somebody who is, um, you know, uh, has a lot of authority. And it looks like the, you know, there's a lot of focus on money over here. So there's some. Uh, uh, it's a good salary, it's a good money, it's a good payment coming in. You've got the Seven of Swords over here. So you've been dealing with a situation, some kind of legal situation that has been very difficult. Well, the Seven of Swords is dealing with deception, it's de dealing with lies, it's having to let go of a uh, difficult situation and walk away from it. Uh, and this is how where you are at the moment. So there might have been some kind of a legal issue that uh, you had to deal with uh, that didn't really go your way. And there was some kind of loss that you incurred because of that legal decision. You've got the Three of Coins over here, so you are going to be focused a lot on work. Uh, and it seems like this King of Coins, because these cards are next to each other, is going to you know, they're going to offer you some kind of post that's going to be long term where you're building something up. It might be some kind of engineering job, something to do with uh, construction, maybe. Uh, and it's going to uh, require, you know, a lot of collaboration with a lot of people, a lot of expertise being involved. And you are going to be working pretty hard pretty soon. You've got the King of Cups over here. So, uh, you know, you might be worried about a little bit about your health and you might be getting some kind of um, health advice because the King of Cups, you know, generally deals with um, uh, medicine. Or it could be some kind of counseling that you're seeking, some kind of advice. You might be seeking some advice from a father-like figure about what to do as well in this kind of situation. So going into the future, you've got the Queen of Swords, uh, the Knight of Cups and the Two of Swords. So the Queen of Swords, you're very determined to get through a situation. Uh, it looks like if there was any legal disputes, you are going to come out victorious. Uh, but you know, you've been through a lot of problems and, and you're very determined to get uh, your way in this particular situation. This is also, um, you know, maybe isolating yourself a little bit from everybody else. 
and uh, you know um, focusing a lot on your work, but keeping your your distance from people as well. Uh, you know, having gone through a lot of problems with people, it seems you can see there's a lot of sores in this woman's throne or a lot of backstabbing going along. So maybe you've decided that you know you don't want to have anything to really do with anybody, and you're keeping to yourself really. You've got the Knight of Cups, so there definitely is that offer coming in for you, and it's going to be really something that you uh, you know you've waited for for a long time. So this could be an offer of a new job that definitely comes your way you are waiting for new soffit with the page of cups this is waiting for the new soffit but this looks like that offer is going to be solid and it's going to come in and with this king of um coins it's definitely something that is uh you know you're definitely getting that coming in so this particular thing is coming in whatever the Knight of cups is bringing in it's bringing in a solid uh, uh offer that is coming in and you will have to make some kind of decision over here so there's some kind of uh official decision that has to be made um, you might be even signing some contracts or signing some papers make sure you're reading paperwork or reading all the little legalities as well uh, the two of swords talks about making that decision and making um, um, you know making it um, after considering all the facts over here so it looks like there might be some contracts that you will be signing soon a decision that you will have to make some kind of um, you know a legal work that you a legal issue that you're going to have to deal with and a decision will have to be made over there but it looks like there's a firm offer that is coming in for you and it's going to be very financially lucrative as well um, and that is coming in for you soon and you might you know this job will might take you away uh, from where you have been so it looks like there might be some travel that's involved with your work as well so this is the animal tarot and this is um, the oracle read and the first card is the Princess of Autumn, which says a wonderful opportunity related to your work and education, such as a promotion or a scholarship is coming your way. Seize this chance to learn something exciting or start a more rewarding and uplifting career. So it looks like that news of that new job is coming your way and you will get that particular post. The second card is the Prince of Autumn, so you're going to be working pretty hard. It is important to make a detailed plan before starting a new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, you will take... Uh, immediate action and it will and get as much accomplished as possible so you can see a lot of money coming in now the prince of autumn is the prince of um pentacles which means that uh you're going to be working pretty hard and you know it's going to be something that takes you it's a steady job it's a long-term job and it's going to take you well into the future and a lot of money will come in with it and then you've got the ten of spring which is you're working far too hard and the stress will soon become too much reach out for help from others and um at the same time uh play and enjoy life so although you know you're very very work focused here there is uh, you do need to delegate responsibilities if you need to so whatever this post that is coming in it's going to be a leadership post but make sure you are delegating um, activities to other people and not taking all the responsibilities on your shoulders and make sure that you take a break when you need to take a holiday and don't get bogged down by too many responsibilities so it looks like this new job is coming through for you you are getting that money that is coming in it's some, some kind of promotion or a new job that is coming in for you and you know you, it looks like you'll soon be signing some kind of legal documentation um, and it's going to be something that you really enjoy and it's going to have a good payoff as far as the finances go so you need to worry anymore and you'll be quite busy at it uh, and collaborating with a lot of people as well with this particular post so i hope that this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe leave me some comments if it has thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye